Hello, happy Friday. I hope you're good. Today I'm here with, um, I'm wearing this really baggy t-shirt just because I feel like it's very fitting for this video. I'm going to be recommending books to you guys like I normally do on Fridays, but this one's a bit different. It's going to be based off of Billie Eilish because, well, no one asked for this, but honestly, I'm trying to think up of fun, different, unique ideas, and I figured that this one would be fun because a lot of people love Billie Eilish right now, and I personally enjoy her music as well, and I'm going to be recommending books that I think you would enjoy if you like certain songs of her. So I'm going to be going through some of her most popular songs and I will be recommending books to you off of that. I'm not familiar with all of her music so I do apologize. These are just some of the ones that I know. Yeah, okay, so let's get started. A lot of Billy's songs are actually kind of sad and, and depressing, so just know that a lot of the books that I'm going to be recommending are also going to be kind of sad as well. So now let's get started. Billy's most popular song is without a doubt Bad Guy. Bad Guy is a very up-tempo, fast-paced, moving song that, you know, the lyrics though on the other side are very, um, they're very, you know. Because of that, I thought I would recommend a very fast-paced story that is also very dark. And so for that, I'm gonna go with Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. Tyler Durden is one of the most bad, bad guys, characters you will ever read about and as much as I want to tell you about Fight Club, the first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club and the second rule of Fight Club is also don't talk about Fight Club and on and on. This is a story that's very fast moving, it is very, it makes you question a lot about your own life and it makes you want to go and just wreak havoc and I think that bad guy is also in that same vein. So if you love that song like a lot of people do then you should read Fight Club because Fight Club is one of those books that I think everyone should just read once in their life it's not going to change your life or anything, but it is going to make you think about a lot of things and is very enjoyable, so give this a read. My personal favorite song from Billy is a song called Lovely, and Lovely is such a depressingly sad song. It is one of the most sad songs I've ever heard in my life. So sad but I love it. I can listen to it on repeat for hours, probably. If you enjoy that song, I think you should really pick up The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oakes. This is a young adult story about a young girl that escapes a cult, and she's now in a juvenile detention center, and we follow her as she recalls us her story on how she escaped, what she went through, all of the manipulation, all of the, the, the trauma that she went through. Upon reading this, you find out that her hands have been cut off. She has no hands and we find out what she went through to be where she is now and it is one of the most sad stories I've ever read in my life and it makes me cry every time I read it and I couldn't recommend it enough. As sad as it is, it's also hopeful at the same time and I think though Lovely is a very sad song, it is also hopeful because you have that sort of uplifting moment at the end in a way and so I highly recommend this. This is such an underrated book but it is so good. Just know that if you're of the faint of heart, just be wary with picking this up. I had to set it down a couple times. The next song that I want to talk about is When the Party's Over. This song is really sad and depressing, but also kind of beautiful. I think if you enjoyed this song, you would really like My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Uh, this story is about two best friends that grow up together that create this incredible bond and one of them eventually gets possessed by a demon. It is crazy. It is bonkers. And, you know, one of our main characters has to watch her best friend as they spiral down this crazy story and how they do awful terrible things and how this demon is basically just killing them from the inside out and they have to try to help them and there's so much teen angst in this story and characters do stupid things but at the core of the story there's such a, a strong element of friendship and I think because of that it's kind of beautiful in a way and I think this might pull at your heartstrings a bit. You might cry maybe. This wasn't my favorite book or anything but I think it fits perfectly with this song because it's just one of those stories that really just like pulls at you. But I would recommend it. Also it has a lot of 80s elements to it so there's a lot of nostalgia and this cover is just wicked. It's so cool. The next song is No Time to Die. This is a song that Billy did for the new James Bond film I believe and this song has such an incredible orchestra to it. It was put together so well. It is a masterpiece and this song is really great. It has a lot of like um it's just an epic song of epic proportions. It feels almost otherworldly in a way so when I thought of this song I figured the only thing I could really 
picture if you enjoyed this song, you should really read Middle Game by Sean and McGuire because this is a book about a brother and sister as they, they're basically stuck in the middle of of the end of the world. They're kind of like the key element. This book has to do with gods and alchemy and this brother and sister are at the core and they're the key and the world could end with them or without them and it is a crazy story that has so much action and adventure and and love and loss and, and, and it's gonna make you feel so many different things and it's a really great science fiction story that is very long but it's so worth it. Shauna McGuire is a master storyteller so I couldn't recommend this enough if you like No Time to Die, you should pick up Middle Game. The next song is You Should See Me in a Crown. This song is dark and twisted, and the only thing I could think of when I thought of this song, if you enjoyed this song, you should really read Carrie by Stephen King, because Carrie is dark and twisted and also just crazy bonker. It's just, it's just a crazy story and I think if you've never read this you just need to read this in general. Carrie, um, for those that don't know, is the story of this young girl who is incredibly bullied constantly all the time at her school so she doesn't have the best mental health and she doesn't grow up in the best environment either. She lives in such a toxic situation and later on she then finds out that she has these telekinetic um, abilities so she's able in a way to get back at her bullies but before then she kind of, you know, snaps and it's this downfall of this poor, innocent, naive character and you just want the best for her but overall things just go horribly wrong and it's just such a great story and I think if you like You Should See Me in a Crown you would love this and you know there's a reason why I thought of the comparison and I think if you know the song and you know the story you can probably see it and yeah it's just really good. The next song is Bury a Friend. Bury a Friend is again another dark twisted song. It's so weird but I love it so much and for some reason every time I listen to this song I can only think vampires. I don't know why but when I hear it vampires. So if you like bury a friend, if you if you really connect with this song and it's your thing, then I really think you need to read Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice if you haven't read it yet because it's just the vampire book. And is this the greatest book ever written? No, but is it really great? And if you're, you know, of the right age, will it really read very entertaining to you and will you just fall in love with it? Probably. And you know, most of Billy's fans are very young, so you can read this around, you know, a teenager age. And I think you would fall in love with this because our main characters, Louis and Lestat and Claudia, they're just so memorable. This is such a memorable story and it's so fun but dark and I don't know, I just think it's great and I would highly recommend this if you like Bury a Friend. And the last song that I'm going to recommend a book to you off of one of her songs is Ocean Eyes. Ocean Eyes is wonderful and lovely and it's probably Billy's only song that's very, you know, happy. I guess it's the only happy song that I know I've heard from her and it's very cute and romantic and lovely so I knew that listening to the song I had to recommend a romance and a romance that preferably is set near the ocean or the sea or something because it's called Ocean Eyes. I mean come on. So I looked at my shelf and I thought what is my favorite romance and lo and behold don't judge me. If you like Ocean Eyes you need to read The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks and Nicholas Sparks you know gets a lot of flack here and there but you know what he does what he does best and he writes a great romance granted are they tragic romances maybe but the last song is beautiful and yes you know it's most known because of Miley Cyrus but I love this story so much because it's not only a romance it's about family it's about loss it's about grief it's about life in general and I really really love it and the setting of the book is great and our characters are great their their growth the things that they go through it's just completely great and if you haven't read the last song I highly recommend it it's my personal favorite romance book I don't read a lot but the last song just kind of it warms my heart and I haven't read this in years so I should probably give it a reread soon but I highly recommend it and those are all my recommendations if you're a fan of Billie Eilish off of her songs what am I doing here I don't know in the comments below I would love to know um, your recommendations for books based off of her songs. So take a couple of her songs and recommend me some books based off of that please because I want to know and I want more recommendations and I feel like her music you can recommend a lot of really good twisted books so I want to see what you can come up with so leave those comments down below and um, I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!